Ulta and got some of my foundation and I took you guys with us so um, you guys get to see, you know, the, I'm sure you've been to Ulta before, but you get to see some of the things that I checked out and you get to see the makeup that I picked up. And so I wanted to show you, you know, what my skin looks like with nothing on. I did just start using um, my Proactive treatment again, which is actually the Target brand Proactive, which you'll, I'll talk more about in some other videos, but um, I am finding that I cannot use liquid foundation at all anymore. It just clogs my pores too much. I get really deep rooted pimples and it just doesn't work for me. So I went back to a pure mineral foundation and this is the one that I'm using. I got the Bare Mineral Pro this time. I used to use their loose minerals when they first came out and I liked them and I got pretty good coverage with them. But the last time I went to go get it, one of the young ladies at Ulta recommended the Bear Pro because it's a pressed mineral powder and you get a little bit more coverage and the brush is a little bit different. Um, so the brush is this and it's the Precision Face. And I'll show you, I wanted to show you how I apply it really quick. I get sateen, sorry, it has a spot on it from my eyebrow stuff. And then I've already used some of it, um, but that's the color. And basically you just take your brush and swirl it into the powder. And then I, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I also have a little bit of self tanner on, but what I really like is I can still use my regular color over my self tanner because it's kind of um, a light coverage. I don't have to worry about adjusting my foundation color if I have a little bit of a tan. So I use this in the winter time, I use this in the summertime, and I felt like it translates very well, if you will. So anyway, I swirl my brush through and then I just swipe it across my forehead and you can already see how much of that shine went away with just a couple swipes. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and I like to go down my T-zone with it. And then I pick up a little bit more and I like to swirl it around my cheeks. I kind of, I don't buff it, buff it a lot. Like the, if you guys are familiar with Bare Minerals products at all, when they first came out, they really recommended like buffing it into your skin. I don't feel like I need to do that with this powder as much. I feel like I can swipe it more and I still get good coverage. I like a really natural coverage. I don't like heavy coverage foundation. I don't like having makeup caked on my face. It feels funny to me, it looks funny to me. I'm not in theater, I'm a mom, you know? So I just want to be blended, <laughs> you know? And then, so this is what's really cool, is on those spots where you have you know, dark spots. I have acne scars, so I have hyperpigmentation. I can go back in with a little bit more and pat and like press my makeup into those areas for a little bit more coverage. And I just really like how it looks and feels. And then if I have some stubborn spots, like this is a pretty stubborn spot because I just had a pimple there and I had to pop it because it was giving me a headache. So that kind of spot, I will go back in with my, um, what is this? The Fit Me Matte by Maybelline. My color is number one. I'm really sorry if you can hear my daughter whining. She wants to come in here so bad, but she's just being a little loud. 
I'm gonna let her come in here when I do my product reviews. Anyway, and then I'll just do little dabs under my eyes just to brighten with that. And I'm gonna do my eye makeup later, so I'm gonna do little dabs on my eyelids because this stuff kind of works like a primer, which is one of the reasons I like it so much as a concealer, because then if I put a little on my eye and then I go to do makeup, my eyeshadow, you know, I get good coverage. So yeah, I just, I really like the coverage that I get with this foundation. I'm very happy with it. I was already happy with the Loose Minerals. I'm probably even more happy with the Bare Pro. And one of the things that uh, I've noticed that the, the young lady at Ulta recommended to me too is this, it feels moisturizing on your skin. It doesn't feel like a dry powder. Some people who have acne, if you're using acne treatments, you know what it feels like to have red irritated skin. You know what it feels like to have dry patches in your skin, especially right over where you had a breakout. And the last thing you want is to put something dry on top of something that's already dry and look like flaky or cakey. And so I'm really happy that this, this Bare Minerals Pro here I'm really happy that it is kind of moisturizing. Now, I, would, I do notice because it's a light coverage and because it's just one layer of makeup, I will get a little dewy in my T-zone later on in the day. If that happens to you, pick up your brush, pat a little bit more powder on, or it does, it comes with a little sponge that I don't use, I really like the brush, so I just don't, I never got used to using the sponge that comes with it, but like you could keep this with you during the day and take the sponge and like dab over any oily zones that you start to get later on through the day, but I never feel like it's bad enough that you're super shiny or um, your makeup oxidizes or like changes color and I never feel like it just wipes off like you know how when you get oily later on in the day and then you like accidentally rub your nose and a big glob of makeup comes off on your hand like that doesn't seem to happen with this stuff so i'm really happy with it i hope if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and don't forget to click the little bell for notifications so that you get notified when i have a new video out and if you have any questions about this product, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys like this makeup or if you've tried it before too, what your experience has been. And um, I hope you guys check it out. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.